What's cracking, everybody? What's cracking? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Damn, that was low. Today, I'm going to talk about a man that I see mentioned a lot lately on YouTube. I say over the last six months, things have taken a turn. And that is uh, Gold Toast. Gold Toes. Julio Gold Toes Sanchez. So, originally was these dudes down south, you know, the Vatos down here. There was a few that were hating on them, and I, I don't know why. I, I don't know why they're pushing that north-south thing in music, and, and uh, you know, he just kept pushing, it seemed like. I don't know him. I don't know any of these cats, right? I'm I'm, I'm the outside looking in. And um, lately, lately and surprisingly to me, very surprisingly to me, having done so much prison time, I, I know the difference between how the North and the South function in there. It is normal to have Southerners politicking against each other. So when I see Southerners, you know, the, the rappers doing what they're doing right now, it's, it's unfortunate that people are putting it out there. And that is what you will see in prison, people. That's what they're doing. You hear the things they're talking about. They're talking these rappers, rappers that are not in the streets doing no work, not doing nothing. They're trying to get on and get money. And they're talking about this prison shit. Why'd you, stop, why'd you stop running around the streets? Get out of the studios, man. Let somebody else in there, especially somebody younger, man, and, and get on out there and do your thing, man. Prison cell, there's a prison cell for you. There's a bunk open, homes. You know, you need it so bad. But anyways, I'm not surprised to see the politic and Southerners, Southerners politic and cannibalize each other at a, a very rapid rate. Motherfucker don't have to be a punk, a pussy, a rat, or nothing, homes. Somebody don't like something about them, they're going to politic on them. It's unfortunate. But you didn't see Northerners doing that in there. Not on that scale. But I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing now, like I've seen several different podcasts, Northern podcasts, talk about Goto's. I just saw one the other day. Didn't, didn't watch too much of it, but saw him saying that basically they feel Goto's is making money off of their back. And I was like, holy shit. So from the outside looking in, I said, let me give my point of view. So, so Goto's is the owner of Black and Brown ENT, trying to bring both together and make money, right? He has uh, GT uh, Digital Distribution. Another way to help people make money, right? He's going to make money, of course. Every businessman does. But he's going to give other people opportunities, right? Then he's, I think, the CEO of This Nation and This Latin. More opportunities for people. All of these avenues are, are opportunities for people to get their money. But you know what? You know what happened? When Goto started way back in the days... You know, they were, the Northerners were banging the Northern thing and, you know, pushing that. And, and you know, what, 20, 30 years later, they're still talking about the same thing? How is that selling? How is that going to go in North Dakota, in New York, in Atlanta, in Texas? How many of them want to hear about Northerners... Hating Southerners. How many want to hear about Southerners hating Northerners? How many want to hear about regional California issues and gangbanging? I don't think many. So if I'm a businessman and I have a business model that I want to succeed with and I want to expand, I do not want to use product that is the same from 30 years ago. So the beats change, the faces change, the voices change, but the story's the same. So 
I would think Gold Toes is, is willing to put anybody on that is going to make money. That's what a businessman is going to do. Anyone who becomes a recording artist, someone else is going to make money off of you. But why is it that all of, the, all, of the, all of these Rasa channels have an issue with Gold Toes making money and, and creating opportunities? That shit is weird to me. He's got to be successful. I don't, I don't know anything about him. I'm just barely hearing about him over the last six months from all the hating that he's getting. And I'm like, damn, this bottle must really be winning for so many people to hate the position he's in. But again, I'm very surprised that Northerners are doing it. That Northerners aren't championing that bottle and pushing for him and changing and getting at him like, hey, what, what, give me the blueprint of what you see as a marketing success, as a success period in the music industry, and I'm going to make that album. Is anybody doing that? I don't care if you're from the South or the North. If you're from, if you're from Fresno, has, any, has anybody tried reaching out to him and saying, what is the blueprint? What is the winning? What is the recipe right now? What do you, what do you think I shouldn't do? And I want to do that with you, and let's get this money, especially if you got talent. I don't think they're doing that. I think they're pocket-watching him. They're looking at all the opportunities that he has created for himself, and they're like, fuck that guy. He's not letting me in for free. He ain't on the block with us no more. That motherfucker has nerve to be a successful businessman and have a fucking place for his family, something nice, something he can leave to his kids. How dare that dude do that and not be right here on the block with us, not be broke with us, not fighting a fucking case? Is that what's really going on nowadays? Is that what Rasa do? What part of the game is that? I'm telling you guys, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I have heard, personally heard legends in the joint, bonafide killers, certified gangsters tell youngsters, hey, homes, did you lose your appeal already? Like, like did, you, did you give up? Or you just like being in here, Holmes? If you got action at your case, Holmes, you better get in that law library. You better figure out how to fight that case, Holmes. And then when you lose it, come on out here and fucking, you know, do your thing, Holmes. We got more than enough people. I've heard legends, bona fide gangsters, encourage youngsters to fight their case and get the fuck on the streets. How is it that rappers and dudes that do not want to be on the streets and do not want to go to the joint, Rap about the joint and the streets, gang banging, and hate on the motherfucker that's successful. Can someone make that make sense? Bottles that wish they were in Gold Toast position hate Gold Toast position. <laughs> How in the fuck am I like? The world is completely upside down, man. In a real way. Shout out to every successful businessman out there. I don't care what your ethnicity is. I don't care what your race is. Shout out to you. You had a vision and you fought for it. You're pushing and you're being successful. I say a prayer for the rest of you bottles that hate successful people because you can't formulate a plan and stick to it and have the discipline and be willing to sacrifice to make that a reality. We got to do better, man. We got to do better. This is the reason why Raza stay where we are. We support rappers that are not our people, which is fine because my favorite rappers are black. But stop hating on your own that are trying to get you there. Can we support our own while we support others? Can we help them bridge the gap so that everybody can get that money together? Probably not. Raza just ain't built that way, man. As much as I love my gente, Raza, 90% are just not built that way. That other 10%, the other 90 want to talk shit about. Oh, soft ass. You ain't with the program. You ain't with the business. 
Either you motherfucker, you're in a fucking recording studio. What the fuck business are you with? Stop talking like that, man. It looks stupid. Everyone who's really in that life, everyone who's really a gangster looks at rappers and laughs, eh? Especially the ones talking about having bodies and all that. Because you know why? Because every rapper that's talking about that, you got homeboys from your barrio that really know what time it is with you. You got vatos in your city that really know what time it is with you. Por favor, stop it. Switch the style up. I promise you, that vato that can stop rapping north-south stuff and gangbanging that's, that's stuck in a region, like a, a small area in California, stop rapping about that. You're going to blow up. I'm not a rapper, man. I am a successful businessman. I don't have all the answers, but I know it's fucking obvious that when you're rapping about something that 99% of your potential audience doesn't give a fuck about, you're going to turn off that percentage ASAP. Like, what the fuck? Hey, what is that? Hey, what is he talking about? Like, I like the beat. Yeah, his music, his, his voice sounds good on the, on the beat, but what the fuck is he talking about? Like, he said that the last song. Hold on, let me listen to another one of his albums. Three albums ago. Hey, man, he's saying the same shit. Why the fuck are they going to buy something new from me? Don't be all flamed up and all blued up in, your, in, the, in the videos and on the, on, the, on the fucking covers. and You know what I'm saying? Like, switch it up, eh? Actually... Surprise them and stop wearing tight ass clothes and, and having Edgars. <laughs> Be different, eh? Chingo. But anyways, that's my video for the day, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully somebody takes this advice and runs with it. And you're gonna be successful. And Gotos, I don't know you, but keep doing what you're doing, homes, because obviously you're doing the right thing. Because the people that wish they were in your position can't figure out how to get there. Be that example. Somebody will figure it out. And in closing, there's an old saying. Ask me who you run with and I'll tell you what you are. You keep running around with some broke dicks, you're a broke dick your damn self. You keep rolling around with dudes that make excuses for why they can't advance, that's what you're going to do. And every time you make the excuse, your homeboy is going to say it sounds great. And every time he, he fucking has an excuse and he's crying about what he can't do because he won't do it, it's music to your ears. That's bullshit. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, man. I'm out of here.